Welcome to today's episode of Places People Purpose. With the diverse and rich cultural heritage that Tucson has, we're going to explore some of the interesting and fun places and activities that are available in this amazing city. Tucson is home to the stunning Saguaro National Park. The park is split into two distinct sections, the Tucson Mountain District on the west side and the Rincon Mountain District on the east side. Together, they encompass over 91,000 acres of pristine desert landscape, preserving a vital piece of the Sonoran Desert ecosystem. The park is unique for its namesake, the saguaro cactus, which can grow up to 50 feet tall and live for more than a century. Saguaros are supported by an internal structure of wooden rods, called ribs, which are arranged in a circle forming a cylinder. You can guess the age of a saguaro by its height, although the relationship between height and age does vary with climate. In the Tucson area, a plant 5 feet in height is about 30 to 40 years old. A 20-foot saguaro is likely to be around 70 to 90 years old. The tallest saguaros might be about 200 years old, but most saguaros don't live past an age of 150 years. About 94% of the weight of a saguaro is water, so the weight of water can be used to estimate the weight of a saguaro. A 20-foot saguaro without branches will weigh approximately 2,102 pounds. It's amazing to think that this 20-foot plant weighs a ton. The Sonoran Desert is a haven for biodiversity, and the Saguaro National Park is no exception. While the Saguaro cactus dominates the landscape, it shares its home with a wide variety of desert flora and fauna. Visitors can spot a variety of cacti such as the prickly pear, barrel cactus, and chala, each adapted to thrive in the harsh desert conditions. Wildlife enthusiasts will be delighted to know that the park is home to a diverse range of animals. You may encounter the elusive desert tortoise, gila monsters, rattlesnakes, and a plethora of bird species, including the majestic Harris's hawk, and the charming Gila woodpecker. Bobcats, coyotes, and mule deer are some of the larger mammals that call this desert paradise home. The saguaro cactus is more than just an iconic plant. It holds cultural significance for the indigenous Tahana Anthem people. They have a deep connection to the saguaro using its fruits, wood, and ribs for food, shelter, and tools. The park's visitor centers and interpretive programs often share the rich cultural history and traditions of the Tahana Anthem people. The park offers a network of well-maintained hiking trails, ranging from easy walks to strenuous hikes. Trails like the King Canyon Trail offer breathtaking views of the desert landscape. For those who prefer to take in the scenery from the comfort of their vehicle, both districts of the park offer scenic drives with multiple pullouts and viewpoints. The Cactus Forest Drive in the Rincon Mountain District is especially popular. Both districts have visitor centers that provide valuable information about the park's ecology, geology, and cultural history. Ranger-led programs and guided walks are also available. Saguaro National Park is not just a haven for visitors. It's also a vital hub for scientific research and conservation efforts. Scientists study the park's ecosystems, including the saguaro cactus, 
to better understand how these plants and animals adapt to extreme desert conditions. The park plays a crucial role in preserving this delicate balance for future generations. Another scenic area to visit is the Sabino Canyon Recreation Area. This area's soaring mountain peaks and deep canyons host over a million visitors a year. It is one of the most popular recreation sites in southern Arizona for hiking, bicycling, jogging, wildlife viewing, photography, and picnicking. There is an electric shuttle service that provides a narrated one-hour trip for a 7.4-mile tour. While riding to the upper end of Sabino Canyon, you can hear about the geologic and cultural history of the canyon. Founded in 1958, Kitt Peak National Observatory is home to one of the largest arrays of optical and radio telescopes in the world. Kitt Peak is located 90 kilometers or 56 miles southwest of Tucson, Arizona, at an altitude of 2,096 meters or 6,877 feet on the Tahana Antha Reservation, and has a visitor center which is normally open daily and nightly to the public, offering daytime guided tours and a variety of evening stargazing programs. However, the road to the top of Kitt Peak remains closed to the public more than a year after a wildfire damaged parts of the highway. While the road is under repair, only limited night tours are available to the public. The Mount Lemmon Sky Center is home to Stewart Observatory's Public Astronomy Outreach Program and is located high above the city of Tucson, Arizona. The Sky Center builds upon the uniqueness of the 9,157-feet summit of Mount Lemmon and on the extensive knowledge base at the University of Arizona to deliver different educational programs to the public. The Sky Center provides access to the Schulman 32-inch and the Phillips 24-inch telescope, which are two of the largest telescopes available for public outreach in the Southwest. The Arizona Sonora Desert Museum is a living, breathing testament to the remarkable beauty and biodiversity of the desert. As you approach the museum, you'll be greeted by the stunning backdrop of the Tucson Mountains. The museum is more than just a collection of exhibits. It's a sprawling 98-acre desert where you can immerse yourself in the natural wonders of the Sonoran Desert. The Desert Museum is teeming with native wildlife. As you explore the grounds, be prepared for serendipitous encounters with creatures that call the Sonoran Desert home. You may find road runners darting across your path, the melodious calls of cactus wrens, and the charming antics of prairie dogs in their enclosures. One of the highlights of the museum is the Desert Loop Trail a leisurely one-mile loop that takes you through a variety of desert habitats. Along the way, you'll encounter a diverse range of plant and animal species, including towering saguaro cacti, playful otters, and majestic birds of prey. Prepare to be amazed by the raptor free flight, a captivating daily show featuring native birds of prey. Watch in awe as hawks, owls, and other raptors soar above you in this stunning open-air demonstration. It's a truly unforgettable experience that offers insights into the lives of these magnificent birds. The Desert Museum's botanical gardens are a lush oasis in the arid landscape. Stroll through carefully cultivated desert landscapes, admire the vibrant colors of desert wildflowers, and learn about the diverse plant life that thrives in this challenging environment. The gardens are not only beautiful, but also educational, providing a deeper understanding of desert flora. Escape the desert heat by visiting the museum's aquarium and reptile house. Here, you can observe aquatic life from the nearby Gulf of California, including fascinating sea creatures like seahorses and jellyfish. 
The reptile house showcases a variety of reptilian species, from rattlesnakes to Gila monsters. The Desert Museum is not just a place for passive observation. It's an educational institution that encourages hands-on learning. Explore interactive exhibits that explain the geological history of the desert, the adaptations of desert plants and animals, and the conservation efforts to protect this fragile ecosystem. The Arizona Sonora Desert Museum is more than a museum. It's a living testament to the wonders of the Sonoran Desert. It's a place where the desert's rich biodiversity and geological history comes to life and where you can connect with nature in a way that few other institutions offer. That's the end of our program for today. If you enjoyed our podcast, please follow us wherever you get your podcasts. In our next episode, we will be exploring even more things to do and see in the wonderful city of Tucson, Arizona. So join us for our next episode of Places, People, Purpose, where we create connections to our world.